second of two Federation Cup finals is for the DRS 100s. They're on circuit to begin their formation lap. And William Vincent will be the driver that leads them out, the 126 cart. BJ Ramler alongside him, Bryn Calder. And Oscar Wormsley Jones on the second row, Lily Jeffs on the third row with Owen Johns, and then Millie Hart is the seventh and final DRS 100 cart on the grid. Remember, these drivers will not be promoted to the main Grand Prix final, but they are playing for points, they are driving for awards. they'll want to try and find a way to be victorious in the Federation Cup remember you can follow us on the live stream on YouTube use the comments feature to talk to us here in the commentary position show your support for your favorite drivers ask us any questions you can also join us live on Facebook with our Facebook stream. Search for Daniel Ricardo Series UK on Facebook. Follow the live stream. Again, you can comment on there. And we are off and running then with our DRS 100. Oh, and there's a spinner. Spinner, there's three or four of the drivers all involved it's the likes of vj ramler as well from the outside the front row the 107 of millie hart's involved the 128 of oscar wormsley jones is involved in fact wormsley jones is beached on top of vj ramler so we're gonna have to remove one cart from the other and that's a shame potentially put paid to what could have been or what may still be a uh, very entertaining federation cup if they've got to live up to the DRS 62s, they've got a lot of work to do, haven't they? Because that was a an excellent race between the two drivers there. So, to complete lap one then, played right into the hands of William Vincent because he was out front, avoided all the chaos that it shoot behind. But it's played into the hands also of Brink Calder because Brink Calder is up into second. There's some pressure though from Lily Jeffs. So Lily Jeffs in third place, the through Surtees, through the right-hander. Down towards Chandler's again, and then they head up the back straight into the Dell chicane. Can Lily Jeffs find a way past Bryn Calder? And can either of them find a way to get on terms with the race leader, William Vincent? We'll check on the lap times between the three of them and just see who's doing the quicker of the times it was a 46.5 for William Vincent it's half a second quicker than Brink Holder and four tenths quicker than Lily Jeff so they've got to find some time we expect them to squabble over second place between the pair of them but ultimately they've got to try and find around four or five tenths of a second or more than that to try and Close the gap on William Vincent, who leads this Federation Cup race. So here is the leader then, number 126, William Vincent. Started on the inside of the front row, 46-4 for him that time. A little bit better from Brink Calder, 46-5 for him, 46-6 for Lily Jeffs. So all of a sudden, lap him within a tenth or two of each other. But at the moment, track position belongs to William Vincent. He's got 1.8 seconds of an advantage over this battle for second place between Bryn Calder and Lily Jeffs. Here is William Vincent, the 16-year-old. He's got these two, let's just have a look at the timing again. 46.5, 46.5 again for Vincent. 46.4 for 
for the two in front. So now then, now then, the two behind have all of a sudden found some pace. They've found just about to hook things up a little bit. They've probably pushed each other along a little as well. But they've got themselves a tenth or so's advantage over the race leader. Now, will that be enough? So they probably need, there's 1.7 seconds between. So they've, put, they've got six, six and a half minutes to go. That might equate to around about nine laps. So nine laps at one tenth a second. So they're going to need at least two tenths a second. So really, ideally, they're going to need to take two tenths a second from William Vincent. Let's see what they do this time round. So a 46-4 for William Vincent, 46-7 for Calder and Jeff. So unfortunately, where they needed two tenths, of, two tenths of a lap to close in on the leader, they've now dropped two tenths a lap. So they probably now need three tenths a lap in the remaining time to get themselves on terms with William Vincent. He's doing a good job out front here. Lily Jeff's fastest lap of the race so far, 46-4. Still tucked in behind Brink Calder. And you wonder if, if Lily Jeffs could get released from the back bumper of Brink Calder. Could she start to impose herself on the race leader, William Vincent? The gap's nearly two seconds, so there'll be a lot of work to do, that's for sure. The gap's now up again, just over two seconds now. Somebody's going on the holidays. So Vincent Calder Jeffs. Then it's the 137 of Owen Johns, lapping around about 48 seconds, lapping a couple, couple of seconds slower than Lily Jeffs in front. But he did manage to keep himself out of all the trouble, Owen Johns, at the start, and therefore has got decent track position over the likes of Millie Hart and VJ Ramler. VJ Ramler's lapping in the 46 fours as well. Oscar Warns to Jones. 46-8 last time round. They're the seven runners so far. So Lily Jeffs then. 46-3. Fastest lap of the race so far. Now, interestingly, last time round, Lily Jeffs took four tenths of a second out of William Vincent. So she just needs to get past Brink Calder. And she's shown that she's probably got the pace to start to get back towards the race leader. Now, whether she'll have the time to do that all depends on how quickly she could get past Brink Holder. She needs to make that move in a couple of laps, well, in a lap or so. Has she got anything into Raymond's this time? Not quite close enough, although a little bit wide from Brink Holder. As they head into the chicane at the hook once more. Drop down towards the left of Surtees. Kept down to 1.6 seconds. It was two seconds a lap ago. Last time around, 46.5 for Vincent. 46.3 for Brink Calder. So the reason that Lily Jeffs can't find a way past is that Brink Calder suddenly found himself a couple of tenths of a, of a second per lap and will now have the bit between his teeth because he will see that the gap between himself and William Vincent is coming down. Here's the battle for fourth and fifth. Johns and Hart and then Rambler is a further oh, 14, 15 seconds down the road and then Oscar Wamsley Jones is even further behind at the moment, there's the two of them this is the battle for fourth and fifth Just waiting now to see whereabouts the leaders are. So Vincent then, 1.3 seconds was the difference. Last time round, uh, 46.2 for Lily Jeff. So she's now the, the fastest of the three. They are pulling him in, aren't they? They are starting to pull in William Vincent. Don't quite switch off just yet thinking this was a done deal. 1.3 seconds is the gap. A decent response that time from William Vincent. But any mistakes, and these two will jump straight onto the back of the 126 race leader. 
Can Lily Jeffs get a touch closer? Can she push Bryn Calder back towards the race leader and pinch both of them in the last few laps? We've got just under two minutes plus that one final lap to go. Gap 1.3 seconds. So they're going to need three tenths of a second at least now. Let's see what the gap is this time. It was 1.3. It's now oh, 1.5. It's not going to happen. Calder and Jeffs have just lost a little bit of that momentum. And William Vincent's done a good job in just stemming the floor of their attack. He's put in a couple of really decent lap times. And now the gap's up to 1.5. And that's a problem for these two. Lily Jeffs might as well have a go now. Lily Jeffs... Jeffs might as well have a go at Bryn Calder. Might as well try and find a way past. Going to have two laps after this one to do so. So Vincent Calder and Jeffs, one, two and three. Crossing start finish, they've done 11 laps. A 46.6 for Vincent that time. A little bit faster for Bryn Calder, took two tenths, but gap's just down, back down to 1.3 seconds. So we're going to need about three quarters of a second a lap at the moment to get back on terms with the leader. It's a big ask, a tall order. Unlikely, unless William Vincent makes some sort of mistake in the closing stages. A lot of the damage was done early on. William Vincent was clear out the front. He wasn't involved in the incident in the hook chicane and he's on his way he will see he won't see a last lap board this time or will he? he should he have seen a lap, last lap board this time I think he should have done so the, we are on the last lap but there was no board out by the starter the starter was indeed I think the starter was putting out some sort of warning for one of the drivers out there so can Lily Jeffs get close enough to bring Calder to do some sort of attack on the final lap? She's had that two cart lengths disadvantage for most of the race now. Gap between first and second is back up to 1.5. And William Vincent is going to win at a canter here. He comes down the long back straight for the final time. He's going to turn into Raymond's. He's going to exit Raymond's and he's going to win the Federation Cup. It is... A Federation Cup win for William Vincent. Second place, Bryn Calder. Third, Lily Jeffs. Fourth place is Millie Hart. And then Vijay Ramler, Owen Johns and Oscar Warms. The Jones. Stinger come in.